So one thing that we use a lot is PDB. So PDB is a snippet that you put on your uh, script and it allows you to uh, break, there, there's a breakpoint in the script at that point and you can inspect the variables, uh, anything, the, the state of the script at that, at that moment in time. And uh, you can actually do this with Docker, but you need to do a little bit of a kind of a special way of running things. And to be honest, I think that's the way that you should run the the compose uh, anyways. So it's it's gonna be um, something that you you you're gonna kind of learn and become uh, second nature. So I'm gonna do a Control C to stop all the all the containers here. And um, uh, let's see here. It's taking a little bit of time. There you go. So now clear the screen. So what you want to do is you want to start the database container as its own daemon service. And the way you do that, and you can do this with any container, but I'm going to do it with the database. Uh, you just pass DB as the name. So DB is going to be from the Docker Post YAML, this, this service. So you, you pass Docker Compose up dash D, which is daemon DB. And it says starting counter app DB2. And as you can see, there's no logs or anything. It's just like starting that container as a daemon. But you can actually check that it's running doing Docker PS. So as you can see here, Mongo is running, as well as MySQL, which I think it's from the um, from the last exercise. But anyways, MongoDB is running. So now what you want to do to be able to do PDB you need to learn this. So it's docker compose run, and notice that I'm not using up, service ports web. And again, web in this in this scenario is this, this container na uh, service name. So when you do that, it's gonna start the, um, the container, but now it's, it's running and you can see the, the logs and everything but it's it's running with these service ports, and service ports allows you to um, basically route the the PDB when you break when you have a breakpoint back to this to the screen. If you didn't pass those ser that service port there, then you wouldn't be able to do PDB. So let's just try it out. I'm gonna put a PDB here somewhere. So let's say I want to check uh, what happens when when I hit the, the that root folder, and if you type PDB. Uh, you should get a, um, well, actually, I don't get the snippet here because uh, I have like autocomplete off. But um, let me get the the syntax of it. It's funny because when you when you have this autocomplete, you kind of remember the, the syntax. But it's this, import PDB, PDB set trace. So you save the file. Make sure that you save the file. And now I'm going to hit the, the root uh, of that. And you'll see that it's now it's stuck. It's kind of like waiting, right? Which is what you want to see when you use PDB. And now, see, I have the the um, the avail kind of a, a, the 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 commands available there for me to step through. So now it's gonna execute counter equals. So I can say um, you know next n if I wanted to to step through that. So I do next. Now I can see what the counter variable looks like. So it says counter object, which is what we think it's going to be. And then counter dot count is six. So I can explore all those things and be able to step through the application. See counter plus uh, counter save, return, etc. And when you're when you're done doing your PDB checking, you just press C, as you know, to continue. And then you'll get back to your application. And as you can see here, it finished executing. So that's a little tip to, to run um, PDB there. And one thing that you want to do to be able to um, stop the database, because you, if you do Control C here, you stop the, the, uh, the application server, the web, right? But if you see Docker PS, you have still the database running. So you want to do Docker Compose stop db and it'll stop the the database and remember to shut down all your containers before you shut down docker because you could get like uh, data errors so i'm also going to shut down 
the um, the counter app DB one. Let me see if I can do it through the name. There you go. So now I don't have any containers running. So that's it. That's how you use PDB with uh, with Docker containers.